In this tutorial, I'll show you how to export thumbnails to textures using this free plugin that I've created and shared on GitHub. So it will essentially generate textures out of uh, assets thumbnails. So this is an update from a video I made a year ago. And so this is a nice plugin that will work with 5.3. I've opened up Unreal Engine 5.3, and then I've created a simple blueprint only project, and I, I called it BP only game project. And I created a few assets that we will use to generate textures. You can go ahead and navigate to the URL, which I've shared in this video's description. So it's in my thumbnail to texture tool repo, and we can download the plugin by clicking on the code button and then download zip. So this will download a zipped format of the plugin. And all we'll need to do is unzip it and put it in our project. Once that's done downloading, you can navigate to it and then go ahead and extract all or use whichever program you have for extracting zip folders and then i'm just going to click on extract okay so this is actually the plugin in its entirety um, so we're going to go ahead and copy that into our project okay so i've navigated to my project which is just bp only game project and let's make a folder to be ready for the plugin so plugins Okay, and then let's just drag in our thumbnail to texture tool main inside our plugins. After this step, we'll need to restart our Unreal project editor. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and close it up. Okay, so I'm just going to close it and reopen it. Okay. All right, so it opened up. And you can see the plugin under the edit menu plugins. And then you'll notice that under install, there's this other, there's this other plugin and there's our new plugin. So I just called it thumbnail to texture tool and the support link links to the GitHub page. And you can always edit at the icon if you're not a fan of this beautiful icon I've created for this. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's give it a test run. So simply what you what you now can do because of this plugin is you can select a bunch of assets and you can right click and then there's this new option and category called thumbnail and you can just click on it and it will export all of these to this uh, folder called procedural textures and it will prefix it with uh, T underscore. And this these textures are already in, using the texture group UI. Um, and I made sure that they don't have any alpha uh, because we don't really need an alpha channel for these because of the checkerboard pattern. Um, and yeah, so you can make a bunch and it's, it, uh, I'll just duplicate everything a bunch of times. Okay. I just saved all. Okay, so I'm just going to select all of these. And my previous version, it crashed whenever there was too many, there were too many assets that were selected. Uh, but yeah, this one is pretty great. So I'm really happy with the result. Um, so just a, a note here, if you rename something and you regenerate that asset, it will just create a new texture. Uh, but what's nice about it is that if you don't rename it, it will just override it. Uh, so it's really nice for updating that texture, that stand-in texture. Okay, so the settings I've added to this plugin, you can navigate to Edit, Project Settings. And then if you scroll all the way down in the section of the plugins, uh, there's some new settings there uh, in this thumbnail to texture editor default. So when you click on it, 
Uh, you can actually set where you want the textures to be saved. So you can just click this and then uh, you can even go ahead and create a folder here. Uh, so let's say you want to save it in a folder uh, proc gen and you wanted your prefix to be tx. Uh, I would highly recommend just t underscore for textures uh, just to follow the Unreal naming conventions. Uh, but it is possible to change it to whatever you would prefer. Um, so, so now that it's in a new folder, so if I select a bunch and I right click export to texture, so it will save inside this uh, proc gen folder. And now your prefix is TX. That is how to use the plugin. Uh, I wanted to share another cool thing that I learned is that you can actually change the uh, angle that the uh, the actor has its thumbnail to. So I'm just going to go ahead and you go to settings and then thumbnail edit mode. And then you can click and drag and choose the angle that you'd prefer, which is really awesome. Not, not that useful on a sphere, but you can actually see the the angle of the light also changes so it does make a difference um so question mark all right and then when you're done editing the thumbnails you can click on done editing and then it's nice because when you export to texture it will have uh oh save texture there you go, it will be over here. So a quick note that I just noticed is you'll have to save your asset before exporting to texture. This plugin is an update from my previous video for creating an Unreal Editor asset button uh, that I made about a year ago, so the time flies. Um, I decided to make it into a plugin and make it uh, blueprint friendly. So you can use it in any project that doesn't even have any C++ and it'll be more performant and the old one used to crash if you chose too many assets and sometimes wouldn't fully save. I pretty much studied how uh, the engine was using or saving thumbnails or how it was creating texture 2D and I also got some support by um, a few a few links that I'll share in this video's description also. Um, so I'd like to thank all those resources and people for sharing uh, code and knowledge. So yeah, this is a great experience creating a plugin. And I find I found that plugins are extremely valuable. And it was it was pretty fun making a little plugin icon. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.